Hi, this is Sonya with Artsy Solutions and welcome to part two of the design team project that I'm making for um, bakers and crafters. Um, it's Felicia, Felicia from the Sweets by Felicia. Um, her, she has an Etsy digital called Falling for Autumn and I'll have a link in the description for her Etsy shop and um, the title of the kit and I'll also have her YouTube channel linked in. So today for part two, I decided to make um, some pockets in an envelope and um, just some more ephemera for the journal. So here's the envelope and I took one of the clusters that I had made on the first, on part one, and um, I used it as a closure and then I just added some stickers that I had um, from a previous fall kit that I had gotten from I think Tuesday morning years ago. So here's a little envelope and then I just um, put like some vintage stuff in here. And I'll probably, um, I probably won't keep these in here once the journal's made. I just, I just wanted something just to put in there as like a filler. And um, so we have two pockets right here that can go inside the journal. And this paper um, I had used uh, just some purple cardstock and I added that print on there and I'll show you the process in a little bit. But yeah, so this is one of them and I did some stitching on both, added the little stickers and the die cuts. And um, of course, you know, you have your little pockets and I added some book pages. And then, um, so this right here is like a, an accordion style pocket or tuck spot or I, yeah, pocket, I'm just going to say accordion style pocket. And then it opens up like so. And then of course you have a pocket here, here, and here. And, you know, of course I used, um, bits and pieces of the the scrap the the junk journal pages for some of these backdrops and um, added a little bit of fabric coffee dot fabric from some of my previous projects and I glued on this little closure here because my original idea was to have this on top of here but I was just like mm, it might be a little too heavy so I decided to just put the cluster on there and then keep this separate and then you can flip it over and um, this is also this is a tuck spot tuck spot and tuck spot so that's that and um, I'll put these up and then you have this right here this is like a little flip um, and this is from the kit right here and I added a little bit of uh, cheesecloth, some of that coffee dyed uh, burlap, not burlap, but coffee dyed cotton fabric from a previous project. A little bits and pieces of paper stuck on here. And then, of course, um, you know, I've got like the different prints on here. And like I said, I'll show you. That'll be the first thing in the process of when I made this uh, pattern on each of these and then it opens up like so and then you have like a pocket right here you have a pocket down in here and then I just added some borders and um, I cut this out from a book page it was like a little craft a children's craft book page and then we have some Edith Holden uh, artwork that was from a book so both of these pages are from that story of Edith Holden and then this is just from the little craft thing and it's like a tree of nuts and um, this right here is actually the hinge that connects these two pages together but the way I put that tree on there or that that nut tree it makes it look like it's the bottom of the tree so I just kind of I made it work <laughs> And then you have this right here, 
Uh, you have a little pocket right here. And I just added some vintage stuff in there. And yeah, you have a pocket there. And then I did the acorns and all that stuff the same way I did um, these other images in here. And then, of course, you have a little pocket right here. So, let me go ahead and show you how I made it. So, now we're um, getting ready to make some of these um, envelopes and pockets and things. So, um... I'm using my lavender color paper <laughs> like I said I usually don't use this color but um, yeah we're gonna use this and I'm just gonna take some white paint let me move some of my stuff out of the way and I think I'm just gonna take a brayer across it um, I don't feel like breaking my jelly plate out <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on here and I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to brayer it on. And it's just going to be a thin layer. So I want to idle this uh, paper up. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm going to use this little Stampin' Up or Stampin' Around by Stampin' Up. And there are different patterns on here uh, or different patterns that you can add on here. And I'm just going to add a pattern on some of these. No rhyme or reason. Um, I'm just going to choose a direction to add it on I just want to make sure I have full coverage and I'm just gonna randomly put some of these patterns on here oops didn't mean to mess that up but you can kind of see um, for this one and then I'm gonna um, clean this and then I'm gonna use I'm gonna go across with these two patterns right here on the other papers so two of them is gonna have the same let me move this since I've already got this one on here I think I'll just go ahead and um, add some on this one Okay, so these are dry, and I tried folding this a certain kind of way, one of these, but I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm just going to keep it like uber simple. Um, so I'm going to have a top loading pocket, and I think I'm going to fold this on the inside like that. And um, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to round off my edge. I'm just going to round off all the edges. And this will probably be like a tip in because it's going to be roughly the same size of a page uh, or 
You know what? As a matter of fact, I might just let that be a page to add in to the journal. I might just let both of these be like add-in pockets or something. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and stress this. I'm going to use some vintage photo. And then just go around the edges. And these are going to go along with the pages that I'm going to be adding to the journal. As I'm create, as I'm crafting, <laughs> I'm creating along the way, so I don't really have an idea. I just kind of go with the flow. So. Okay, so I'm going to use some of these. Um, it's from the book that I've gotten with the story of Edith Holden. Um, I'm just going to cut around the edge. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because um, I want these to show front to back actually. So, but I am going to create like a tip in. Um, I guess that's what the correct <laughs> terminology is. So, I'm going to line this up. From the side and the bottom. So I can know. Um, actually, you know what? Let me just get. I don't have a pencil, I just have a pen. So I'm just going to mark like right here and right here so I can know where to cut. And then this is like the center. And this is the center. Okay, so I'm just going to get my paper trimmer. And um, cut this on the marked lines. And then I'm just going to turn it this way, and I'm going to line up those two little notches of the lines and cut that that way yeah, that is taller uh, I have a leftover piece Okay, so I got the width right and this bottom part correct, but now I need to take off um, make sure I got it lined up correctly with this side and this side. And I want it to come down to about right here. So between here and I'm just going to say probably, probably about right here. I'm going to cut it down. I'm just going to line my two dots up and then just cut that off.
and I'm going to take about a sixteenth of an inch off right here where we have this excess. Okay, then I'm going to round off my corners. And this is going to become part of the pocket, but I'm probably going to add like a border. I do need a border to kind of cover that up, but I think I'll put the border on the outside of this. Um, and I'm going to create a hinge to connect this with this. And I guess I'll make the hinge out of the same material. Um... This is, let's see, how tall is it? Roughly seven and a half inches. So, I'm going to cut this at seven inches. And I'm going to cut two one inch. Um, hinges one for each side and you can just literally fold it in half or you can score it you know depending on how well you are at folding stuff and getting it even. I'm just folding it and holding it down so it's half. Do this the same way. So that way you have quarter inch hinges. Or half inch. This, yeah, half inch, my bad. Half inch hinges instead of quarter inch. Like I said, you can score it. <laughs> it might do better. And then I'm just gonna, um, I think I'm gonna take black this time and go around the edges because I'm, well, let me see if this will show up. Oops, wrong one. Hate when I do that. It shows up. We'll, we'll stick to brown. And this is going to be getting glued down right here along with the hinge. And I want to glue this to it so that when we close this, you'll be able to see October. Yeah, and you'll still be able to see this, and then we'll flip over or whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's first connect this to the hinge and this to the hinge. I'm just going to use some art glitter glue.
And since I have so much white cardstock left, <laughs> um, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And then I think I'll make this like one inch. I like that. And I'm just going to cut it right there. And I'm going to um, distress it. And I'll glue it on. Okay. And then I can add decorations along the way. So let's go ahead and do this side right quick. Okay, so now we've pretty much we've got that on there. And I am going to need to put something here and here. And we'll do that in a little bit. Um, oh, I'm going to have to shift this down just a little bit. Because I don't like how that... October part shows. So I'm just going to have to adjust this. I have to do this the same way. Sometimes you have to make adjustments when you glue stuff together just to kind of make it look right. I can live with it for now. Okay, so now we need to obviously decorate. And I'm probably going to add, I've got some cheesecloth and we've got our cute um, I'm going to use some of these little circular things from the kit. The Falling for Autumn kit. This is Grape jelly, and since this has fruits on it, let's see grape jelly, strawberry, sweet peach, and um, marmalade. Oh, I think I'll go with the marmalade. So, I, don't know if I should put it on here on the front. I'm gonna put it on the front, and I want it to have that vintage kind of look. 
Hmm. Wonder if this too this taken away from too much. But I do want want it to have like some type of brown in the background. But I don't want to cut this up if it's not gonna look right either way. I know what I can do. I can cut like a thin strip going straight across. Oh, I didn't realize I cut into the house. Oh, well, it'll be all right. Yeah, it's fine. As a matter of fact, I might even use part of it since you can't really tell what it is anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to glue this on here, add like a snippet of cheesecloth. To give it that extra grungy look. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one. Okay, so now this is pretty much almost done. I'm, I'm probably going to do some stitching, but um, but for now we've got 
you know, our pocket right here and our pocket right here. And then we have these pockets in here. So we're gonna set that to the side. And okay, so we have that vertical. So now we need something to the side. So I'm just gonna turn this like that halfway. Or a little bit more than halfway. And then, um, I wonder if I can make like an accordion style pocket, if that makes any sense. Let me just fold this over just a little bit more. Okay. And these are going to be really simple. Now I'm going to pop out. And you'll be able to just like probably take one side and glue it to the page and then it, you can it'll be able to pop out could probably add like magnets or something like that before you glue it on there or something um, I don't have any magnets <laughs> I have some but I don't know where they are and I'm not looking for them so um, let's see let's go ahead and just distress our little edges so I'm just going to open this back up. Actually, since so these are pockets, let me get um, my hole punch. And in the center, I'm just going to go ahead and punch. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these together to start out this is what we have we're going to um, I should probably round these corners off too um, And then we're going to decorate these. Um, I'll probably put some simple buttons and things like that on there. So, um, we'll see. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So for our next one, um, it's going to be similar to that short one. Except I'm just going to cut this in half. So this is going to be like four and a quarter. And we're going to have two pockets. And this one, um, is going to be an envelope.
actually before I even do the assembly I do need like a backdrop for these so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take part of the digital and let's see if this if each section is roughly three and a half or yeah it's a little bit over three and a half it's like three it's like three and three quarters so I'm gonna take like three and a quarter or slightly wider than three and a quarter by I'm just gonna say four and a half because it doesn't have to go all the way down so three and a quarter by four and a half is what I'm gonna cut some of these out at okay I should have put these in before gluing this so I'm gonna see if I can gently disassemble this okay and since I don't have any um, magnets I'll have to have something obviously to keep this closed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some string I'm wondering should I use this color let me see something I'm trying to see what it's going to look like against dark let's see Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to add, let me see, a strip of this. Let me, let's see, right here. cut here and I'm just going to distress it with some archival ink and this is that fabric that I had um, when I did my last scrappy eight challenge I had some leftover fabric where I messed up at but I decided to keep it so I think I'm going to glue this on like right along in here and I'm trying to think yeah this is going to fold like so because fabric is pretty st typically pretty sturdy but before I even glue it on there let me, uh, and I'm going to fold this right here. Before I glue it on there, um, because these are going to raise up like that. Let me uh, cut some holes. Make sure that these are... Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So now I'm just going to glue this on the top.
And then I want to see, okay, the string is going to come in through here, part of the string. This is going to go here, and then the other part is going to go around. Actually, <laughs> it's going to go around this, the zine, or the, not the zine, but the, um, whatever this is, accordion. Then you're going to have another part that's going to come up through here. So let me just, I want to make sure that my string is at least bigger than needed but not big enough and it's going to be coming through here and then it will get tied so let's go ahead and make sure that this is even and it is Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a bead of glue going straight across. And I think I'm going to use this as part of it for two of them and then maybe a solid one in the middle. I think that's what I'll do. So I need to make like a three by four and a quarter, three by four and a quarter. Okay, so I glued these on, and I turned this one upside down by accident, but I'm kind of glad that I did because it gives it that balance between the three. So, um, so you know, this will go like that, and then when you flip it over, you can just put this through here, and then tie it together. So, but I'm going to I'm going to be stitching around the edges of each one of these. Um, but before I do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some backgrounds on this and this or these. Okay, so I measured and cut these out. So now I'm getting ready to glue them on. And I got, um, this one of course is from the digital kit. And these are from a book that I gotten from, um, it's like a vintage book that I gotten from Kristen. And I'll, I'll have her Instagram link in the description. And you can check out some of the stuff that she's made. And you can also see um, the link of what she sent me anyway so this I'm going to glue this one here and on here and then I'm going to stitch around the edges okay so I stitched around the edges of um, the envelopes and these right here and I've decided that instead of putting these together on something and adding it to the envelope I'm just going to keep them separate so, um, I'm just going to take a little piece of some leftover, uh, what did I use on this? The borders that I had used on here. I'm just going to take some of that leftover paper 
and I'm just going to basically it's going to get glued on each one of these and I'm going to add um, I'm just going to add I think I'll turn this like this or should I have it going like that I can have I'll have it going like this and then I might put this down here like this yeah let's slide it over To put on here um and then we've got this already stitched around i'm gonna have to get some forwards i think i might leave it kind of plain for now um simply because i'm going to be adding it to the journal and i'm going to kind of let it coordinate with the pages that i'm working with so um i've decided to add one of my clusters on here and I can always add a fall word or something, you know. And so I'm going to need a closure. And I'm just going to add this. Make sure it's in the center. And then I'm just going to get a Velcro dot and add it here so it'll stay closed. Okay, so I found some words that I can use in here. Some like Thanksgiving words that I forgot I had. Um, I got this way back when Tuesday morning was still open probably about four or five years ago. Um, let's see what we have. Okay, so I finally finished it, and I've got to make some tags and ephemera to go in it. But, um, yeah, so here's the envelope. And um, it opens with Velcro. And then you have the book page inside. And um, so that's that. And then, of course, we have our... Um, 
zine or what do you call it accordion style uh, pockets three tier not three tier but pockets and then we have these two pockets And I like that pattern that came out um, on the purple. And then we have this one. And we've got our, it opens like this. I do kind of like how that turned out. And then you have like your side pocket right here. And then this flips. And then you have that. And then oh, you also have this little pocket down in here. And then this pocket over here on the side. And I forgot about this little pocket right here. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos, blog, and social media sites. And um, like I said, I'll try to have two videos on this process or on this design team project and I'll have a link in the description for um, Bakers and Crafters Etsy shop and uh, the name of this kit is Falling for Autumn and I'll have that in there and I'll also have a link to Felicia's um, Facebook page and YouTube channel and um, yeah and thank you for watching.